The Honor 9 is exceptional. It's probably the most powerful phone that you can pick up at the price. And while the camera is good by default, when you delve into the settings, you can make it great. I'm going to show you how to get pictures like these in a second. But before I do, if you're not already subscribed to TechRadar, subscribe. It's how you're going to stay on top of everything that we do. First, wide aperture mode. This couldn't be easier to switch on. When you're in the camera application, there's a weird circle on the bottom left hand side. Tap it and wide aperture mode is fired up. Now every shot you take in this mode can be refocused time and time again in your gallery. And with the drag of a slider, you can change the amount of background or foreground blur. Here are the kind of shots that you can expect in this mode. The Honor 9 has two camera sensors. One's a color or RGB sensor and the other is monochrome, black and white. What's really interesting about shots taken on a monochrome sensor is that they handle noise better and they're also sharper than shots taken on their color counterparts. In fact, Leica's created a dedicated monochrome camera, the Leica L246, to take advantage of the benefits that monochrome photography brings. Now, while we're not saying that the Honor 9 stacks up to such an incredible device, we are saying that for a smartphone, it's pretty epic. Now on to light painting. And if you know a thing or two about photography, you'll know that increasing your shutter speed can make really beautiful trails of light spread across your picture. Sure, the Honor 9 has manual mode, but light painting takes it all to the next level, thanks to some very smart software. When you activate light painting mode, it figures out everything for you keeping the shutter open for the perfect amount of time to deliver the best light trail with minimal overexposure. A common downfall when you're taking a light trail in plain manual mode. The one caveat is that these shots look best when the phone is propped up on a tripod. So you'll want to keep it really nice and steady when capturing yours. On to a little bit of fun with 3D Creator. Hidden away in the shooting modes is the weirdest mode known to man. Take a panorama of your face and a few minutes later, you're a miniature 3D version of yourself, complete with the most random costumes and animations around. A gimmick? Sure, but a really, really enjoyable one. What's also excellent is the fact that you can thwack on random backgrounds behind your mini me. And you can also animate yourself to do really stupid stuff. Once you're done, you can export the mini me versions of yourself as a GIF or pictures or even a video to share through social media. Finally, low light shooting. And while most smartphones crumble when the lights go down, the Honor 9 absolutely nails it with its dedicated night mode called Night Shot. As with light painting mode, this benefits from a very steady hand. When you fire up the shooting mode, you're given two options, ISO and shutter speed. Tweak these to find the right balance and you can make even pitch black environments look rich with detail, color, and create the illusion your shot was taken on a seriously decent camera, not a slender, pocketable smartphone. So now you know how to eke even more out of your Honor 9. And hopefully, if you haven't got an Honor 9, you better understand why we thought so much of this smartphone when we reviewed it. To find out more about the Honor 9, check out our full review on YouTube or check the description below where you can head over to TechRadar and read our full review there. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button. And if you like the channel, subscribe. That's how you're gonna stay on top of everything that we do. Thanks for watching.